please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Excuse me, Friday, February 2nd. I'm Angela Ely. And I'm Jocelyn Perez. We can expect a few more weeks of winter, six to be exact, after Puxatawney Phil saw his shadow this morning. The tradition started in 1887 and doesn't have the highest track record of being correct, but make sure to tune into Day Planner every morning at 6 a.m. for our, excuse me, for your weather forecast. This year, a few students brought back in, brought Improv Club back to life, and last night they had their first show of the year. FST News' Michaela Bryan tells us more. Good morning, Michaela. Good. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Last night, our improv team had their first show of the year, and the turnout was impressive. Senior Abby Nickel talks about being a part of the improv team. Oh, at first, it's kind of intimidating, mainly when you're behind curtain. But after you actually get on the stage and you actually do perform, all the nervousness usually goes away. Especially with improv, since you don't have to be a certain character all the time. You're basically being your own self at the same time, as well as trying to like incorporate... I character. honestly can't wait to see the amazing things they do next. Angela, Joss, back to... Thanks, Michaela. Seniors, the first night of grad night payment of $100 is due today. See teacher Wyatt Aping in room 720 or student council advisor Andy Rasheg in room 704 for any questions. Now reporter Kaylee Goodwin joins us in the studio. Good morning, Kaylee. Good morning, guys. I got the chance to see our amazing dance teams perform at their send-off. Take a look. On Wednesday, our junior varsity and varsity dance teams performed during the halftime of both the boys and girls basketball games, bringing it everything they had and afterwards celebrated with a send off. This weekend, our varsity girls are in Orlando, Florida, competing in nationals for their division against many other high schools in the country. Alohi Maruyama, a freshman and member of the JV team, told me how much work goes into learning the dances. We practice every day with a lot of hard work and long practices. Along with the varsity team having their nationals this weekend, the JV team is competing in their division's nationals on March 3rd. Even though it's not for a while, JV sophomore Emma Peterson expressed her excitement about getting to go. I am super excited and I feel really confident in this year's team. FST News will definitely keep everyone updated on how our amazing dancers do this weekend. We've been talking about it all week. Sadie's, but is there a dance? Reporter Logan Winter tells us more. That's right, Angela. Our student body definitely knows about the Skills USA Sadie Service Week and Spirit Week. But we've gotten a lot of questions about whether or not there's a dance. Whether it's a pun, using food, or giving your special one a bunch of memes, Sadie's proposals are all around campus. Student Council President Macy Hendricks explains what Sadie's actually is to the students at Foothill. Um, so Sadie's is an event that um, most high schools do where basically the girls are in charge of asking the guys to go to the dance. And at Foothill we don't hold a dance here, but everyone still goes out and um, does something with a group. Since 2016, Foothill has not had a Sadie's activity. Sadie's was brought back to Foothill three years ago by FST News and SkillsUSA, but since then we haven't had a Sadie's dance. This year, Skills USA is organizing special events all next week for different charities, while Stuco is working on some secret surprises for students around campus. Student Council Treasurer Joey Pagan gives us at FST News a special hint on what we can expect to see on Sadie's Week. Um, student Council is also trying to start a, we have a couple days that we are that has never happened before at Foothill to get approved. Um, they're in a mix of it. It'll be super cool if we can get them approved, so look forward to that. And um, One involves ice cream, so... That's all I can give you. We hope to see everybody mix and match on Monday for Spirit Week. And we especially hope everyone brings in cans for the model and all charities. The 
Kaylee Gordon, I'm Mark Winter, and that's Ash Tanner. Now before Diego Vasquez joins us in the studio with his segment, Happiness. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Happy News. 13-year-old Cole Fitzgerald is an 8th grader cancer survivor who has battled cancer for 10 years. Cole found out this week that he'd be attending the 2018 Super Bowl thanks to an anonymous donor. The diehard Eagles fan received tickets from an organization called Sparky that helps critically ill children. That's all the news I have for you this week, Falcons. Now over to Jocelyn Perez with a few special guests in our studio today. Good morning, guys. This week check, with me is check, Astronomy check, Club check. President Braden Griffey and historian Evan Ringler. So what is Astronomy Club? Well, Astronomy Club is we just a few people meet every week um, and talk about astronomy. Sometimes we do some activities. We've built rockets before and stuff like that. Okay, cool. And so when do you guys meet? Uh, room 316 every Thursday at 1.30. And do you guys have anywhere that we can follow Astronomy Club for more updates? Yeah, at FHS Astronomy at Club on Twitter. No, at, never mind. I messed that up. At FHS Astronomy on Twitter. And so, speaking of your guys' Twitter, you guys have a lot of uh, fun facts on your Twitter. Sure. Could you tell me the thought process behind a few of them? Of course. So, fun fact number 79. If you stacked all the elephants in the world, you still couldn't reach the moon since most of them would die. Yeah, Hashtag that's an interesting one. Facts. That's an interesting one. Um, if you stack all the elephants up, they would actually uh, reach space, and space has no air in it. And uh, elephants need air to live, surprisingly. Okay, great. And so, fun fact number one, actually, if all the humans on Earth held hands around the equator, most of them would drown. Well, Jocelyn, a lot of people can't swim, so they'll just drown. Interesting, interesting. And, um... Just a quick reminder that what time of the year you were born doesn't affect your personality at all? Well, astrology was uh, created thousands of years ago, and in that time, the stars in the night sky have shifted. So uh, where the sun rises has actually changed. So whatever sign you are isn't the real sign that the sun rises over. OK, cool. Um, thank you so much for joining us this week. Angela, back to you. Thanks, Joss, and thank you, Astronomy Club, for joining us. Now on over to Zoe High with Everything Sports. What's up, Falcons? Last night, our flag football team went up against the Patriots and did great. B team won 13 to seven, JV won 14 to six, and finally, Varsity won 26 to zero. Speaking of beating Liberty, basketball is at Liberty tonight. JV boys are playing at 3.30, B team plays at five, and Varsity plays at 6.30. Girls JV is tipping it off at 3.30, then Varsity plays at 5, and after that, B team is at 6.30. Moving on, bowling is heading over to the Orleans Bowling Center for their playoffs against various Valley teams. Let's hope they bring home some dubs tonight. And finally, wrestling has regionals today at Las Vegas High School. The, o the opening ceremony starts at 3 p.m. Session 2 starts 8.30 tomorrow morning. Catch you next week, Falcons. Angela, Joss, back to you. Thanks, Zoe. Now reporter Tristan Ming joins us in the studio with his segment, Netflix News. Thanks, Angela, and welcome to the first segment of Netflix News, giving you the latest in movies and, in, excuse me, in movies and shows that you can expect to see on Netflix this week. Coming out today, get ready to binge the newest dystopian thriller, Altered Carbon. It's a dark drama that takes place in a future where human consciousness can be uploaded into different bodies. The series is centered around a man who is a man's consciousness who is brought back from the dead after 250 years to solve the biggest murder of the century. Speaking of being brought back to life, on February 20th, the Frankenstein Chronicles are coming to Netflix. If the name didn't already give you a hint, the series is centered on reanimated monsters in the 19th century. So if you're into drama, fiction, and a little gore, this show is for you. But just in case sci-fi or monsters aren't for you, how about something a little more relatable? Coming out February 16th, Everything Sucks is a high school comedy set in 1996 Oregon. It surrounds a group of AV club and drama high school students just trying to get by in this boring town. Well, that's all the Netflix news I have for you today. Now back to Angela and Jocelyn at the desk. Thanks, Tristan. I'll definitely be checking out some of those shows this weekend. But if you want to shake things up a little sooner, like today after school soon, you can shimmy on over 
to room 235 for a beginner's country two-step lesson with the West Coast Swing Club. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. From all of us here at FST News to you, have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. I didn't know I was going to go see him twice. I didn't know why I was.